Hi, it's really great to meet you. And first, I won't talk about nightmares because your films really feel like nightmares, like cinematic macabres, like um, irreversible, uh, enter the void, and climax, especially. And I want to rephrase the question you asked your dancers in your last movie. So, if you can share with us, what's your greatest fear, if you have any? Um, I would say if I have a greatest fear, I would not say it in public because I, but, but it's not that because I, I probably what, 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 the more you've seen it, the more you just want to avoid um, like suffering like from cancers, all these like situations in which you're stuck with a mental or physical disease that makes your your present time impossible and the present time for your for the closest people around your family your your kids oh, yeah so, I, I, I don't wanna, i don't want to be in a situation in which you, your illness makes other people suffer also so or, but, um, of course, everybody's afraid of pain. But fear is the soul, as says the title of Fast Bender movie. So you, you, you must not be driven by fear, you must be driven by desire, or by the quest of joys, or by the quest of. It. Uh, okay, I understand. It was kind of personal. But um, you often emphasize. Uh, how much you don't really give a damn about uh, audiences' reaction because you make your your no, films. I, I, I do care, but uh, you know what, what, the audiences' reactions but if, are but good. You but don't but take you, 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 uh, some people direct movies like they were directing a theater play. They write the dialogues and they sing. Every everything is said by the dialogues. I believe that everything, almost everything, is said outside the dialogues, and. Uh, I try to build movies like horror coasters in which people have fun. They, they, they go up the hill, they, they see the landscape, then they go down suddenly and they freak out and they, they scream and then they laugh because they had an adrenaline rush, something. You can make people cry, you can make, you know, you can make people have all kinds of emotions. Uh, making movies is a, it's a ritual. Uh, going to see movies is a ritual. We all know it's just a, like a, you're making a representation of life. That it's like putting other people to sleep and you're the director of their dreams. And uh, I like making movies that are dreamish or nightmarish uh, more than movies that are too realistic. But still, for example, the, the movies that scared me the most in my life were very realistic. and. Uh, my favorite horror movie ever is movie was uh, four months, three weeks, and two days. Uh, that's the kind of movie that's crazy. Right. Uh, after the premiere of Climax, you often highlight in the interviews that you are pretty bothered that the, 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 the film is actually taken really great. A lot of people are loving it and liking on the contrary to your previous movies. And no, no, I, I always had good reviews in my, 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 in my yes, previous but, movie, mm -hmm. but uh, probably for my first movie was half and half because I was a newcomer and people are more friendly with newcomers. And then because I had very aggressive reviews, instead of uh, like excusing myself, I started being aggressive with the film critics who were aggressive with me and I started trashing them in the press. So, and then very quickly you earn many enemies and you like them as enemies and they like you as an enemy and it's part of life to decide who's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend and who are your enemies and I always enjoyed uh, having haters that I hated and so but, but at a point uh, for the last movie uh, Love uh, I think the, the percentage of bad reviews was higher than usual I didn't understand why but probably it came to the to the whole subject it was the representation of sex in a world that is becoming more and more um, censored when it comes to, 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 to that. 
and uh, yeah, I, did. I went to the promotion in the States and, and they were asking me why did you need to show a male penis in your movie? I said, well, they were, why, why do you need to put machine guns in 95% of your movies? I don't know, for, for me a penis is the most natural thing, it's like my face, my, 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 my hands, or, uh, but the, the people are becoming very schizophrenic now uh, with nudity. And uh, when I did this movie, I saw well, in my last movie, I had like 80% of the, 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 the people like uh, trashing me or saying, are you a pervert? What do you need to show genitals? Then uh, I expected this one to have the same kind of reaction, but because probably this time there is no s explicit sex involved in the movie, and also because probably the, the, the characters are less tormented than all the characters that I had in my previous movies, people get more attached to them and uh, there are dancers that are very acrobatic and uh, it's like when you see uh, uh, acrobats during the Olympic Games, they are hypnotizing and what makes the difference is in this movie, uh, the audience, if you can call it, the audience is a, mm -hmm. a group of people, they mostly fall in love with the dancers in the first half of the movie before they all turn paranoid and aggressive and they turn uh, animal and yeah. So uh, the, the, in the second half they're not very likable, but in the first half of the movie they're extremely likable. And the descriptive, if I'm right, contains only five pages? And yeah, and, and even less. Uh, the, 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 the idea of the movie was very short. Uh, hopefully I have financiers who said, well, let's go for it, but it has to be done for a very low amount of money. Uh, we agreed that we should be for 15 days uh, with private money. Um, the storyline was in two or three pages and then the, the two additional pages were, it was just I was uh, describing the different types of dances that, 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 that the dancers do in the movie and then we added a, a, a video link so people could see what, what the dancers look like. Uh, yeah, but I'm lucky. Godard in the 70s, 80s, 90s, you could get movies financed with just two, three pages of script and big actors' names. I'm even luckier because I can manage to do movies without famous actors. But I'm curious how much the course of the events was uh, improvised and accidental, and how much was it planned and arranged by you? Uh, Have you planned all this? No, we it? shot in a chronological order, so mm -hmm. we could rearrange the situations. I also wanted, even if, if there was a storyline that I wanted to stick to, uh, I wanted all the dancers to feel free to bring their ideas. If someone wanted to kill someone, if someone wanted to smash someone or insult someone, uh, I told them, just bring me your ideas and I will try to make it happen if the other person accepts. And yeah, so, so even myself, I had many surprises because there are scenes that I was planning to shoot, and then they said, "Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to do the uh, this other thing." And for example, the 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 brother and the sister mm, in the movie, of course, in real life, they're not brother and sister. But uh, when I saw them, I, I said, "Oh, they could be brother and sister. Maybe they want to play brother and sister." Yeah. And then I I told them the idea I had and said, "Oh, this is funny. Let's do it." And yeah. Even I, I hadn't planned at all that the choreographer Selva, at the end of the movie, she would end up with a girl. I saw in the initial story, she would uh, she she was ending up with one or two boys, but then she said, no, no, no I'd rather go for a girl. And, and then I proposed to that girl. So the idea, uh, I like because I enjoyed also all the ideas that the the, the dancers and actors were bringing to me. And what would you and say? The, and the dancers were. Mostly totally improvised by them. I would tell them the subjects to say, or the, the the intentions of what they had, they were supposed to have in mind. But then uh, they they would use their own language. And I would edit it. And what would you say about all these political affair that the, the, the people were making out of climax? Does it have any political interpretation? Because personally, I don't, I don't believe in it. Okay. You neither. Yeah. The, 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 because, uh, the, 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 the movie uh, is a bit dreamish, it seems a bit symbolic because it all takes place in one, in one close space and, and 
one to, for example, if it's all about uh, why it says it's a French film profit, yeah, uh, this movie could only exist in France. Uh, I don't know many countries that would produce this kind of movies and the, the, all the dancers, or not all, 20 dancers out of 23 are French. And, and uh, so the, it made sense, but if people want to have like psychological interpretations, political interpretation, it's their, it's their pleasure. <laughs> I just try not to analyze myself, okay. because if you want to analyze yourself, you go to see psychanalysis. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, in this year we celebrate like 20th anniversary of your film career in feature films. So oh, yeah. 20 years ago was I Stand Alone. Oh, yeah, but uh, my, 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 my career, if I ever had a career too. I know, uh, no, but uh, started before because uh, I, I would say that the, the, your career starts the day you did your first short film. And I went to a film school when I was 17, I came out when I was 19. and. Uh, I made the first short film with my father playing a, a killer in it, and that was my first joy as a filmmaker. But uh, yeah, so no, no, my my career started earlier doing short films. And, uh, so about uh, twenty years ago, was I stand alone? And mm -hmm. I'm wondering how much your philosophical philosophy of directing have, has changed through the years. Do you think you have changed? Uh, uh, Direct, uh, in no, you try to to be playful. You try to include each time new new toys, new games, new new points of view. Of course, we are all repetitive. Uh, this movie is a kind of best of or worst of my previous works. Uh, it's just probably I'm calmer nowadays. Uh, I don't stress about. The, the future life of the movie, you just do it for itself. And then, uh, probably the, the, the more confident you are, the best the result is. Stress doesn't create your wings, uh, so I'm less stressed than before. And I, I know it's hard, and you probably wouldn't answer this, but would you consider Climax your favorite film, or you, or you don't have mm -hmm. your favorite films? No. I know the, the, the problem with your own film is that once you deliver them, You've been introducing the movie in festival. You, you've seen it so many times in your editing room that you don't want to see them again. So uh, I haven't. I've seen it Irreversible for the first time since it came out last year. I saw the uh, the French cinema, and I was surprised. I couldn't. Really, I did not remember the dialogues. And there are many things that I loved about the movie. Some other things that I, that I wanted to re-edit. So it's a, it's both a pleasure and. Uh, and a pain to watch your old movies because you want to rearrange them or remix a uh, part or retouch the color grading in one scene. Uh, I haven't seen Enter the Void since I've done it. I haven't rewatched Love since uh, since it was released theatrically. And I, I like this one because the, the last one, but it's, it's a bit like it's quite hard to ask the father which is his favorite. Okay, uh, they all have their personality, but the truth is that they all look very much the same. You know, the, the we are out of time, so really thank you for this. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> thank good you. luck. <laughs>